Time to go shopping. I'm in need of things. Let's get into the stash. Ooh, let's go shop. Hey campers, George here. Yep, man cave again and uh, been doing some shopping again. And uh, the reason I was, I was out actually shopping was I was looking at upgrading my dry bag backpack for my kayak and uh, the one I got from Relentless uh, Outdoors. And one of the things I was putting together is a, a kitchen, a camp kitchen. I wanted something that I could put in the bag. It's not gonna be too bulky, a very basic kit. I needed some things. I wanted to put it together and have it just specifically for when I go out on some water, uh, maybe wanna spend a whole day out, take a break, uh, make myself something to eat for lunch. Um, I always like to do that when I'm out and about. If you've watched my videos before, um, like when I do a walkabout, I'll uh, take a break and make a cup of coffee or make something to eat. I like doing that it's the kind of thing I like to do when I'm outdoors. So I plan on doing this when I spend a whole day out kayaking and fishing and just out outside playing uh, with my kayak. And... Uh, so I went online and I shopped around and I found this guy. And this is the Stan Sport 360 stainless steel mess kit, I suppose you'd call it. You can see it there. Yeah, they call it a mess kit. And I don't know why the 360. I really liked it. I, I bought products from Stan Sport before and always been pretty happy with their stuff. So I thought these guys are going to give them a try. The price was right. It was within my budget. And as you saw previously in the intro, um, I dug into my uh, budget stash that I add to every month whenever I can and went shopping. And this is what I came up with. The Stansport uh, 360 mess kit. I believe it is based on the uh, Boy Scout version. And I thought if anybody knows what they're doing when it comes to camping, it's the Boy Scouts. So thought I'd have a look at it. Went and got it. Came in. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to open it up and let's have a look, see, and uh, see if it's going to work. As you can see, it comes in a box. On the back, it says, includes a 3-inch frying pan, 6.75-inch plate, and a 5.3-inch pot with lid. And they, they show you all the dimensions and everything on the back of it. Um, pretty good, solid box. Let's open it up and see what we have. So as you can see, here it is right here, and it comes in a mesh bag. Uh, oh, they have a little bow on the end there, and with a holder on the mesh bag so it doesn't come out. And it looks like it's in a plastic bag here. Wow, this mesh bag is pretty solid. Be nice to be able to wrap that up. It's in a plastic bag, and take it out, and it's another plastic bag on top held together obviously by this thing here so that's the kit there which is uh, I suppose the way you would transport it uh, keep it together we'll see if we've got room inside to put things that's always a good thing uh, space saver and it's really not that big you can see my hand and I don't have a very big hand so let's see what's inside so they say here uh, that the total product dimensions, I'm sure they mean all packed up, is seven by two, two and a half by seven inches um, and weighs 1.2 pounds. I don't understand the uh, seven by seven. Oh, are they probably meaning it's round? Um, I would just say diameter seven inches by 2.8 inches deep total and it weighs 1.2 pounds it's not light if you're a, a micro camper or whatever you call those people who don't like anything over one ounce it's not going to work for you 
Um, I won't be using it. I don't really care about weight. I'm more concerned with bulk, with the size of it. So there's the kit there, complete. Let's uh, look here now at the plate. So let's look at the, uh, uh, the lid here. And it sits on top of the kit. Take it off and there's the lid there, copper bottomed, nice and clean stainless steel. It is about six and a half inches in diameter and about ooh, inch and a quarter deep. So nice little eating utensil, something to put stuff in. I'm pretty sure you could cook on it. The problem is, is grabbing it, maybe get one of those pot handles, you could use it. And it doubles as a lid for your frying. Put it on there for a quicker cook time. Uh, getting it off is gonna be an issue. So that's the plate. Nice, solid, good value. Now we're gonna have a look at the pipe. And uh, there's the, the lid uh, with my modification on it, obviously. One thing I mentioned before was the lid. My concern was this plastic. You know, I've had a lot of, uh, I don't know if it is you call this plastic, it, it's pretty solid and it's screwed on through there. Um, I'm a big fan of getting rid of anything that's going to melt. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to replace this handle. And of course the handle can't be higher than that is there because it's obviously there for a reason. And that is when you put the lid on top, um, is it still going to fit? So we'll have a look at that and see what we So um, I'm going to try and come up with something to replace this guy with which is the lid and it just screws on it was on there pretty tight it's not about to come off real easy so what I am hoping to do is to put one of these on and it can sit down on there like that the problem I'm gonna have is how do I fix it to the lid so my solution I hope is gonna be this guy yep a wire hanger let's see if I can make some sort of loop system to go in there that'll hold on what I did was I just cut this piece out of here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to play with this piece and let's see. My issue is maybe this might be too thick. Oh, I think I can get two pieces through there. The idea is to pass it through and bend them out and not have it fall through. So we're going to have to come up with some sort of loop system. So I'm just going to bend this a little bit. And uh, hopefully come up with a loop system. So what I'm looking at doing is making a loop like that. Obviously the loop can't be uh, taller than the original handle that was on there. So it looks about right. And then what I got to do is get it into the lid. So I'm going to squeeze these together just like this. Push them through somehow, he says. We don't want a loose fit, so we want it to have that spring on it so it won't come apart. You can see pushing it through. And let's get it as close as we can to a really tight loop like that. That might work. And then obviously what I'm going to do is bend these down flat, cut them off small, bend them down flat so that it won't come apart. So let's give that a try, which is easier said than done. Okay, now we've got to cut them. So you can see I'm flattening them down as much as I can. And then I have the loop there, and then what I'm going to do is using this little doohickey here, which actually pops apart, just opens up like that. I'm going to put it in that loop, shut it down, and there's my lid. And then of course it flops down, so it's not going to get in the way of anything. So let me cut off these end pieces and we'll be all set. So yeah, you can see I've uh, snipped off the ends. 
and uh, just squeeze them down a little bit it sticks out a bit but I don't think it's a, a big problem and now I can lift up my lid um, just by using a stick or something lift it off the pot without burning myself because it will get hot and uh, we should be all set you can see it's nice and flat shouldn't be a problem with the lid and put it inside here the lid fits on just fine whoops and closes up now the one thing about a uh, stackable it rattles and the way to get around that is to use things like your dishcloth or whatever put it in between wrap it around and I don't have a dishwash cloth anyway I'll sit it in there and when you put the lid on it holds it tighter in there and then you don't get any rattle so uh, there's another tip for you on it obviously and that fits on top of that it doesn't really work for anything else except the pot it's too small for the other stuff the handle on it sits like that and you what you do is you'd lift it and pull it and it clips in and then it doesn't fall over or anything like that so it will sit up like that one thing you don't want it to do is to fall down when you're cooking is going to make the handle hot it is a, a stainless steel handle in any case, I wouldn't grab it with my hand when you've been cooking on it. I would use something to lift it with. And looking at the dimensions on this, it is uh, just under five and a half uh, diameter uh, depth, one and three quarter inches. So it has a bit of depth. It's not a big pot. I don't know, three cups of coffee, water. Well, you might get out of that. Um, but really, for me, it's all I need. I need to be able to boil water. And when I carry water, I carry it in a uh, combo kit, a nesting system which has a cup in it or something to boil with. So uh, either this to cook in or to boil water would work for me. This copper bottom, stainless steel. Um, it's pretty solid. Not bad. And then we have frying pan this guy is just under seven inches diameter the depth about an inch and a half not bad I'm not sure about this and I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that does it really matter because the weight is going to be in here um, one thing I did like about the design and let me show you, see if you can see this here and that is here if you look at the handle when you sit the pot down on uh, a flat surface like this, the handle is actually raised a little bit here. So it gives you the ability to pick it up real easy. If it was flat like that, you know, you'd be picking up by the end here and having to adjust. It's nice to have that slightly raised piece there. I don't know if you can see that. I can slide my finger under there. Uh, good idea there. And this little system here, whoops. This little system here you can see how it locks on and it's a pretty solid lock i'm pretty sure after time this might get a little loose but i'm sure you could just bend it back to get a tighter fit so there is the frying pan it does have uh, the copper bottom to spread the heat and it is it's solid stainless steel can't complain stainless steel means no rust and it'll probably get a little sooty and there are ways to stop that I'm not really concerned about that as long as it doesn't happen inside and I can keep this reasonably clean on top here. So there you go. And obviously to put it all together, let me show you quickly. You've got your frying pan. You're going to put your pot in there, your lid on top, close it up. Now, if you watch my previous videos, I did a review on this, which is a uh, um, a new utensil kit I got. The review was a little hokey because I had too much coffee. <laughs> but if you want to see it, I'll put a link below in the description. And this uh, mess kit has a knife, fork and spoon. The nice thing is they do fold, which is fortunate because they're not going to lie flat and they're fully open. So the idea was, and I'll show you that now, 
that I can close these down. They fold nicely. Um, nice folding set, set design. I really like this. Very convenient. And it'll go in the bag like that and put it in there. Of course, being in the bag, it won't rattle. There's going to be other stuff I'll be able to put in there. So that'll work. So we put the lid on. And you've got your nice little camp kit. And then, of course, once uh, you have it all packed together, um, you have a nice little mesh kit. I do like the mesh bag idea. It's pretty popular with just about all the manufacturers. And it slides down. And it's always a good idea just to put a little loop knot in there just to stop it from coming apart. It does work really nice. It's pretty stiff and solid, this. And probably give you room to put something else in there with it. So it does come all together. Should it come apart, it's going to stay in the bag. Done. So there you go, campers. Uh, the Stan Sport 360 stainless steel mess kit. You can use it for camping, backpacking, kayaking, hiking, scouting. And I believe actually that this is based on the Boy Scout original camp, uh, camp kit, the uh, mess kit that they use. And I think they, a lot of them do use this one. So there's a, uh, a good referral for you. If they're using it, they know what they're doing, allegedly. So uh, hopefully this might interest you, something to consider. Like I said, it is a little heavy, but it's not very big. Small bulk with a little bit of weight. For anybody else who likes to go out camping, this is your system. So there you go. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back with someone else. I might even look at a different mess kit and see how that compares to this. But I do like this. The price on this, very competitive. Well worth it, I think. Well worth the money. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.